Alright guys, so today we're going to be checking out a game which is not new to YouTube. A lot of people that I subscribe to plays this game recently and I kind of got a little hooked. I was like, I'll download it but it's not going to be that great. But then it ended up being a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to play it for you guys. So, uh, what does it say? I was born a female in Boston. I was conceived after my father's condom broke. <laughs> She's an Aries. Uh, her father's name is Jimbo. He's a travel agent. Her mom's name is Megan. And she's a photographer um, She has an older sister named Sarah and then they also have a cat named Pepper great uh, So we're gonna age up mashed avocado. It's time. It's dinner time And once again your mother is swirling a spoonful of your least favorite green muck through the air the spoon approaches your lips What will you do? Well There's only one thing we can do when we don't like something we're gonna slap that spoon. Um, my mother tried to feed me some mashed avocado, but I slapped it to the floor. Also, an outbreak of the plague has descended on Greece, killing almost 5,000 people. Jeez. Your parents just had a baby girl named Aaliyah. Great. Your gums hurt, and you're looking for something within reach to chew on to make them feel better. What will you grab? A Sharpie marker, my mom's cell phone, the TV remote, rubber chew ring. Well. There's only one thing you can chew on when you're teething, and that's the remote. Um, let's see. She was conceived. Oh, my little sister was conceived on a Caribbean cruise. Nice. Uh, you and your big sister Sarah are squabbling about which show you will watch. What will you do? <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta attack her. Hello. Oh, we can pick moves. We're gonna uppercut. No, uppercut her mouth. You missed. You tried to uppercut your big sister, but missed. She attacked you with a homemade bomb, but missed. How did we escalate so quickly? Your mother's saying it's time for you to take a nap, but you want to play some more. What will you do? Uh, well, we can kick and scream, take a nap. We could just take a nap and make it easy on our mother. Or we could cry or compromise. And, um... Well, there's only one thing we can do. We gotta kick and scream. Uh, I threw a tantrum because my mom said I had to take a nap, but I wanted to play. Alright, age up. You are starting elementary school. Great. Now that you're in school, you can click the school tab. And uh, click the school and go to... You can look at class. It tells you, like, who's in your class and who you need to be more friends with to, like, have more popularity. More friends? You know what I mean. Um, but then you can also study. If you're trying to be, you know. <laughs> if you're trying to, to be smart. You know. Okay. Um, we don't have any assets right now because we're a kid. We're like six years old. Relationships. You can go to relationships and see how well you get along with everyone. We'll give the cat a treat. Oh, they didn't like... Oh, because I gave him asparagus. What the fuck? Gross. Spend time with him. You worked on tricks with your cat, Pepper. Let's see. Where's our friendship like? Oh, we're becoming friends. Let's go to the bath. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we're good with our mom and dad. Let's be friends with our sea stars. Uh, uh huh. And then have a conversation with her. Alright. And then do we have activities? A time machine or a doctor? We're not going to do that. We're going to age up. God damn! They had another baby. They named him, or named her Zelda. Jesus. Oh, they're they have good looks, smarts, and they're kind of crazy. Perfect. Boost. What's this? Your neighbor, who's a stylist, offers to give you a fashionable new haircut. Been thinking about changing up your hairstyle recently. What will you do? Make me look fabulous, darling. Or I'd rather be shaggy. Well, you know, let's be fabulous. So then it boosts your looks. That's great. We're gonna age up. Your classmate Adam just blew a spit wad in class. When your teacher Mrs. Henderson had her back turned, what will you do? Mmm. I'm just gonna ignore her. I don't need to, to get up in that business, you know what I'm saying? It's not my business. <gasps> the cat died! He died when his clock finally expired after taking his last, last breath. Pepper, no! Can we get another cat? Oh, I don't have any money. I can't get a cat. 
Can I get a job? <laughs> I'm like eight years old. Can I get a job? <laughs> oh, Mom and Dad got a divorce. Your classmate Ralu has been making up untrue rumors about you. What will you do? Well, I'm having a horrible time right now, so you know what? I'm gonna attack. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, elbow her nose. Way to go, champ. You tried to elbow the bully, but missed. Oh my god. You've been sent to the principal, Mr. Thomas's office, for fighting. What will you do? Are you? <laughs> The principal, Mr. Thomas, suspended you from school for four days. <laughs> Your father's arguing with you because you were suspended from school. What will you do? Uh, we're gonna argue. That's what we're gonna do. You verbally abused your father. <laughs> Our happiness is at zero. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we, like, be happier? Oh, we need to practice our martial arts. What are we gonna do? Taekwondo, Kung Fu, Karate, Judo, Jiu Jitsu? Jiu Jitsu? Uh, let's do, uh, Kung Fu. Because everybody's Kung Fu fighting. Your mother refused to let you take Kung Fu lessons. God damn it. Fucking mom. I'm just trying to beat that bitch's ass. Alright, we watched a movie instead. We couldn't be Kung- we couldn't train with Kung Fu, but we can watch a Kung Fu movie. There's a wedding. Your mother has married your new stepfather, Lonnie Twain, a 37-year-old policy analyst. They went to Quito, Ecuador, for their honeymoon. They have... He already had two kids. Mm, stepfather's hunt. Now that you have a stepfather, you're wondering how to address him. What will you call him? Oh. Oh. We're gonna call him Daddy Twain. <laughs> you're suffering from anxiety. Well, you didn't have to tell me. I already know. You teach a partner to you with your classmate, Dean, for a project, and you're clicking pretty well. You're thinking about asking him out. You know what? He's got popularity, grades, great looks. Let's do it. Uh, he rejected me. He just wants to be my friend. The girl next door invites you to go play at an arcade with her and her family. You've been looking for a little excitement, lady. Will, what will you do? <sighs> Let's play. You played in an arcade with the girl next door and her family. Well, at least we got some happiness. Um, let's study a little bit. What's our school like? Eh, not horrible, but not the best. Age up. It's time to go to your first school dance. You're attracted to a boy in your class. He already said he just wants to be friends, Karen. Go by myself. Um, do we need to... Oh, oh, not my school. Oh, we're in middle school now. Hello? Study. What else can we do? Activities. Um. Video games club. Ugh, let's see if there's any cool ones. Dungeons and Dragons club. Join. Fuck yeah. Your little sister Aaliyah has passed away at the age of 10. She got eaten by a shark. Okay, well, we'll just attend her funeral. Alright, not a big deal. Um, <clears throat> can we get a, a like a, a part-time job or something in middle school? No, we can't. Fuck. We gotta wait till high school, I think. Oh, God. Troublemaker, you discovered that your classmate, Aaliyah, uh, stole yours and everyone else's calculators and your math teacher, Mr. Ross's class, and listed them on sale for a on Amazon. <laughs> what will you do? <laughs> Oh my god, report. <laughs> she got suspended for one day. She ch- Oh shit! I'm getting beat! She trampled my spine! She perforated my thigh! The fuck? Jesus Christ! This fucking school is insane! Study. Let's make some money. Let's, um, babysit. We earned $42. Okay. And while we're in high school, we should be able to get a job now, I think. I'm not interested in any of the athleticism. Uh, Part-time jobs. What can we do? Pool cleaner for $9 an hour. I'm down. Alright. Employer is Boston Pool. Great. Um... 
Alright. You got your first period. How will you react? Keep it a secret? Tell my friend? Tell my big sister? Tell my mom about it. We're gonna keep it a secret. <laughs> we have a new friend. Your classmate Luna wants to become your friend. What the fuck? Luna? Luna's in the game? My ride or die. You're now friends with Luna Fox. Oh, time to take a lesson. Oh, oh, what does this mean? Uh, deer crossing. Uh, school. We need to make sure we get good grades, you know? <laughs> okay, your friend Luna wants to become best friends with you. Sure. I'm cured from anxiety. All it took was getting one friend. That's all it took. Just one friend. I graduated. Okay, so now we can go to school, or we can get a job, or we can enlist in the military. Let's let's just go to school for computer science. Can we apply for? Oh, paid in full. Your application for a scholarship to university has been awarded. Fuck you. Yeah, we didn't have to pay anything, bitch. How do I have almost seventeen thousand dollars as a university student? Jesus. All right, school. University study. Uh, I think it said we're pretty stressed. Yeah, that's 40 hours university student and then 10 hours at the pool. Yeah, it did. They denied my request for less hours. God damn it. That sucks. Okay. Your big sister Sarah has confessed to you that she's considered coming out of the closet. What will you do? Support her? Ignore her? Ridicule her? Well, of course we're gonna support her. You gotta support her. Okay. In her life decisions. Hello? Alright. Go to school. Uh, oh, our grades are good, though. Um... I would say let's join a. Oh, oops. I would say let's join something, but we're already stressed out enough as it is. We're working with school and actual work. It's like 50 hours a week. Insult him one last time. Let him go. Try to salvage our friendship. I don't need friends. I don't need friends. You called Ross a dill hole as he was walking out the door. <laughs> uh, oh, we can we can do sororities. Let's find one that looks cool. Um, we'll just do this one. Oh, they rejected me. Why do they reject me? I'm a good individual. I think it was in the university, yeah. They rejected- Nobody likes me. And I'm depressed. <laughs> sure, join social media. Oh my god, okay. We'll just- we'll just- you know what? You know what? What do we need them for? We don't. Let's go ahead and resign. We're gonna resign from the whatchamacallit. Reduce our stress levels. <laughs> You know, we got we got some money in the bank. We're okay. You know? Um let's let's just you know what we could never do before because our mom won't let us. We're gonna learn kung fu. You took a course of kung fu lessons and earned a new belt. Sweet. Alright. We graduated from university with an undergraduate degree. Undergraduate degree in computer science. What will you do now? Seek higher education. Um, graduate school. Uh, let's apply for scholarships. Yeah, we got a, we got our scholarships. Okay. Let's check our graduate school. Computer science. Yeah, okay. Uh, put in some work. And how's our happiness and everything? We seem to be okay. We're just gonna... <clears throat> we're not depressed anymore, so there's that. At a rave, a DJ offers you to come back to his place for some lemon drops. Will you go? Sure. Let's go. I started drinking lemon drops. 
Oh, and we completed graduate school just like that. Um, look for a job. So let's find one that we can actually do. Oh, here we go. All right, while we interviewed for the junior IT support position at Capital Data, you are asked the following question. Which of these Star Wars characters do you relate to most? How will you respond? Uh, Finn, BB-8, Mace Windu. I've never watched Star Wars. So I'm going to go with Mace Windu. <laughs> Bring it home the bacon. Welcome. Sweet, I guess that was the right answer. So we're going to job it up. Work harder. And we're also, you know what? You know what? We're going to treat ourselves a little bit. We're going to... We're gonna go to a spa and uh, we're gonna get our nails did manicure and a pedicure absolutely all right what's what happened uh, my stepbrother apparently joined the military at some point and I didn't realize whenever that happened um, but he's a corporal now and then my little sister Zelda started a new position as a dishwasher so you know some of some of us are doing great things some of us aren't I can relate while standing by the water cooler, you witness your coworker Brett. Of course, it's a Brett. Take your unmentionables off your desk and walk away. What will you do? Um, let's talk to him. He didn't recept. He wasn't. You know what? Accurate. Accurate. <laughs> that's that's. You know, he called us a slut. Okay. Well, there's only one thing we can do: be really good at our jobs. We were promoted to IT support. Woo! We're almost making forty thousand a year. That's a, a almost twenty nine percent increase. Great. All right. Go here. Work harder. And um, you know what can we do? Let's. Our looks aren't that great. Maybe let's. We're gonna do that Brazilian butt lift that everybody does. Uh, Doctor Springer has a better reputation. And we're gonna get the surgery. It was successful. Great. And our looks may have gone up a little bit. Um, let's see. And we're gonna get a nose job. Boom. Alright. Yeah, they went up quite a bit. Okay. Troubleshooting. One of your customers at work calls in with a technical issue, and you're pretty sure you know what the problem is. What will you do? Troubleshoot the issue my way. Go through uh, the standard troubleshooting protocol. Yeah. I don't want to miss work too much because we'll get fired. Your supervisor Tyler approaches you and tells you that he needs you to start putting in four more hours a week of unpaid overtime. Unpaid? That's fine. We're going to do this, but then we're going to ask for a raise. <laughs> well, unless you can't. Can I not ask for a raise? Maybe we have to wait till after this is done. We got promoted to senior IT support. We're making almost 50,000 a year, Jesus. You're feeling strong homosexual tendencies. What are you? I guess she's gay. I guess Karen is gay. If she wants to be gay, be gay, Karen. You live your best life. All right. Unfriended. Me and Luna are no longer friends. Uh, let's try to salvage. You successfully salvaged it. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so you, you have to kind of... You have to keep your friendships and your stuff. Um, he refused to see me. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, put in the extra hours. Alright, let's... Oh, we're doing horrible with our oh wow my family hates me you know what more money for me fuck it <laughs> you're discussing politics with your best friend Luna and she asks you how you think she should vote in an upcoming election I can't help you with that I can't do that I can't help you you gotta figure that out on your own you gotta figure that out Kevin uh, work harder okay Toe bump. You have an enormous bulging bump on your big toe. This seems to be growing out of control. On top of that, your toe feels like it's on fire. What will you do? Well, we're rich-ish, so we're gonna go to the doctor. Uh, and go to Joiner. Oh, we have bunions. Treat me. We continue- Ow. We continue to suffer from bunions. Okay, your mother has asked you to take her to a rugby game. Of course, Ma. 
Of course I'll take you to a rugby game. What do you mean? Of course I will. Did it say I could ask for a raise? No, it didn't. How come I can't get a raise? A new friend? Sure. Sure, I'll be friends with you. Whatevs, dude. Your supervisor approaches you and tells you that he needs you to start putting in nine more- You know what? You're not letting me get a raise. I can't do it anymore. You're, you're taking advantage of me. <sighs> sure, let's be best friends. Why not? Oh, we're not friends anymore. Well, Luna, you gotta go. I'm sorry. I can't- I can't handle- I can't handle friendships right now. It's all about money. Your little sister Zelda has asked you to take her to a volunteer- Take her to volunteer in a classroom at the local middle school. Will you take her? Of course. Oh, of course. Of course I will. How come I can't get a raise? Jeez. While carpooling to work, another passenger offers you some whiskey. Do it. Gotta do it. Damn, my stepbrother has a daughter now. Nice. Some of your friends are going to a local night cl club called Comrade. Uh, will you join them? Sure. Let's club. While watching a twerking contest at the club, you're offered a beer. Let's drink it. <laughs> How old are we even right now? Uh, Mike, your supervisor at Capital Data, is sponsoring a team building activity by taking the team to watch a Rubik's Cube tournament. Sure, let's go. <sighs> let's go. I don't understand why I can't get a raise. Um. You know, let's watch a movie. You went to the theater to see Mr. Affleck goes to Philadelphia. Great. Oh, I guess we're 40 some odd years old. Yeah, we're like 42. Okay. <gasps> Our stepfather passed away. He died of cirrhosis of the liver. Attend his funeral. Your supervisor approaches and tells you that I need you to start. It's unpaid. I'm not doing it anymore. No. No. Sorry. Can't do it. A friend has a free ticket to see the Dalai Lama give a talk on the happiness at the local or on happiness at the local college. You know what? Sure. Let's go. Let's go. Um. Uh, y y your friend Brock is reminding you over to take laughing, laughing gas with him. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who cares? Your father passed away at the age of 78. He died of complications from old age. It is your responsibility to plan his funeral. Let's do it. Um, his wish was to be buried. So we'll bury him. That's what he wanted. That's what we'll do. Your best friend Harold has tickets to a JID concert. And wishes, or he invites you to go. Sure, let's go. Let's go. Let's work a little bit, I guess. Even though they're never going to give me a raise. Nope. I'm not... Nope. Can't do it. Sorry. Squabble. You and your stepbrother Bob are arguing about who would win in a fight between Martha Stewart and Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> what will you do? Oh my god. <laughs> I'll just apologize. No one's gonna win that one. <laughs> your friend Brock is crushing on his coworker and asks if you'll help install a hidden camera under her desk after hours. You're a pervert. That's disgusting. Gross. Ugh. Gross. Okay. My mom passed away. She died while sleeping peacefully. It's my responsibility. She wanted to be buried, so we will bury her. Oh, we got 3,000 each. It's unpaid. I'm not doing it. Nope. See what happens when you agree a few times? They just walk right over you can't do a boost. A close friend offers a free ticket to the upcoming, upcoming Diplo concert. You've been looking for a reason to party. What will you do? Um, you know what? Let's do it. We also, you know, we really need to just go on a vacation. You know? We need to come down here and go on a vacation. We're gonna go to Yellowstone. And we're gonna go first class. Do it. On another trip to Yellowstone National Park, you become lost while oh, out sightseeing and you don't have a cell phone on you. What will you do? Um, 
You went on a first class vacation to Yellowstone National Park. Okay, we got a map and stuff. Cool. Alright, there's this. Put in some work. Every time someone in the office walks by your coworker, Eduardo's desk, he makes a whooshing noise. What will you do? I mean, eh, it's a little annoying, but if that's what he wants to do, let him do it. Your coworker Forrest Forest says he needs to discuss a touchy subject with you privately. Just as you enter his office, he immediately shuts the door and drops his pants. Reporting. <sighs> I'm reporting you. That's inappropriate. That's fucked. I'm just trying to get money, alright? I ain't trying to do shit, but get money. While enjoying a stroll through the park with your best friend Harold, he confesses that he has been hearing voices in his head and is asking if you think he should listen to them. Um, don't do it. <laughs> oh god. He needs to see a therapist. Um, uh, it's unpaid overtime, so no. Um, ba -da 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 -da. There's a half hour long wait at your favorite local restaurant, Swagger Restaurant. <laughs> Swagger Restaurant. But as you walk up, the host asks if you were the last name they called. Mm, nah, but I'd like to add my name. Mm, let's see. Work. Work harder. While returning to movie to a red box, you witness a dumb blonde jaywalking. What will you do? Just let her live her life. I don't know what. I don't know. You've experienced a number of intense headaches over the past few weeks. To further complicate things, you have already dry heaped multiple times today. Well, you gotta go to the doctor, Karen. What the fuck? We're going to join her. I have migraines and bunions. Sounds great. So we, we still suffer from bunions and migraines. Uh, little Zelda has asked you to take her stargazing. Sure, let's go. Let's stargaze. I'm down. My best friend Harold passed away at the age of 83. How old are we? What? Attend the funeral. Uh, you're willing. I thanked you for your extra effort and informed you that you can start putting in normal hours again, sweet. Can I get a raise? Uh, can I get a raise? Doesn't look like it. Jeez. I'm starting to suspect that my stepbrother Elon is experimenting with heroin. <laughs> sure, let's be friends. I don't care. Let's be friends. Uh, workplace annoyance. You're sitting in a bathroom stall at work going about your business when your coworker Jonathan begins a conversation with you from the adjoining stall about yoga. She not just talk to him. It's fine. He called you Ratchet. He's the one talking to me about yoga in the bathroom stall. What the fuck? <laughs> Jeez. Um, do they have better jobs? Like, I'm just starting to feel like... How much am I making right now? I am IT support right now. <sighs> Is there something better than IT support? Um, I just want to make more money. Maybe we need to go back to school. Yep. Ooh, porn set janitor. While being interviewed for the porn set janitor position at Aristotle Pictures, you are asked the following question. What is the best place to... <laughs> uh... My bed. <laughs> and we, we have a new job. We have a new job. Okay, cool. Let's see how. Let's see where this takes us. After staying the night at a friend's house, you're told in the morning that you stop breathing several times while sleeping during the night. Additionally, you've been having a difficult time staying focused on the task at hand. Well, time to go to a doctor. Uh, Doctor Power. Sleep apnea and bunions. Jeez. And I'm cured. Yay! You're feeling like relaxing by enjoying some natural tranquility. How will you do it? Uh, walk in the woods, stargazing, bird watching, or watch the sunrise. Let's go for a walk in the woods. Uh, make sure we put in some effort at work and age up. While on your lunch break, you see a man threatening to jump from high upon a window ledge. Attempt to rescue him. You saved that man's life. So we got some good karma. That's nice. Let's work a little bit extra. Uh, while well, walking through the cemetery, you encounter a courtesan hollering at you. What will you do? Um, what does that mean? 
Is that like a nice way of saying something not nice? You solicited the courtesan. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Some of your friends are going to the horse races. Nah, I'm not going to the horse races. Your stepbrother Elon passed away at 72. He died from the measles, which is insane because I was pretty sure he was doing heroin. So. While mopping up the porn set at work, you slip and receive a minor injury to your neck. What will you do? Uh, let's go home for the day. We put in enough effort at work. It's okay. Uh, we got a new friend. She's not crazy, so let's be friends. Best friends? Jesus Christ, we just became regular friends. Fuck. You and your stepbrother Bob are arguing about Harry Styles' hair. Apologize, charge him, insult him. I don't really care about his hair, so... My big sister Sarah passed away at 75. She died from syphilis. Bloody sy... Jesus Christ. That's disgusting. You and your little sister Zelda are arguing about the pros and cons of social media. Just apologize to her. They're not going to win over arguments like that. Your friend Brock says he forgot his cell phone inside the neighbor's house and is asking you to sneak in when they're not home and retrieve it for him. What will you do? Um, that sounds suspicious. Sorry. <laughs> that sounds really suspicious. <laughs> Workplace behavior. You're up for a promotion against your coworker Becky when she falsely claims to the boss that you have a dead body in your basement. What? You complain to your supervisor about your coworker. Jeez, if I get fired. Robert hasn't friended you. That's fine. I don't need friends. I just need money. Your stepbrother Bob passed away. The last conversation we had with him was arguing about Harry Styles' hair. Jeez. New friend. They're crazy, so I'm not being friends with you. Sorry. Prank call. Your friend Brock tells you that he has a friend who needs to learn a little lesson and is asking you to prank call him, pretending to be the police. What will you say? Nah. That sounds illegal. <laughs> Your friend Brock has made you his enemy. Okay. Be my enemy then, bitch. I don't care. I'm making money. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Moscow Mules. Some of your friends are sipping Moscow Mules. Will you join them? Sure. Retirement. Aww. I mean... Nah, let's keep working. You've been forced to retire from your position. Oh, I never progressed further past janitor. Okay. Well, at least we still get paid every year. Fuck. What are we gonna do then? Can we adopt? Because we're old. We won't let us adopt anything. I mean, any kid. <laughs> Let's go watch a movie. We watch. There's something about Logan. Well, now we can just spend all our money that we, we earned all year, I guess. Oh, let's get a pet. Let's go to the animal shelter. Okay, we got Dapper the rabbit, Dorothy the cat, Nikki the mutt, Shadow the terrier, Mackenzie the terrier, Dawn the mutt. There's a lot in here. Oh, who's the oldest one? Three, nine. I think it's nine. Can we adopt multiple cats? No, we'll keep it in Dorothy. Can we get multiple cats or animals? Ants and meals? I think you can. Okay, who's the next oldest? Eight? Oh, there's two eights. Let's get a beagle. Vanilla's fine. Let's adopt... Let's adopt all of them. <laughs> what did you do when you retired? Well, I adopted all the old animals from the pet shop. Okay, let's make sure that they like us. We'll give them a bath. Um, he needs a bath as well. Oh, they didn't really like that. We'll go for a walk. Yeah. Um, spend time. We went bird hunting with our dog? What the fuck? I mean, I guess that's a thing. Spend time. Full grooming service for your beagle, Vanilla. Aww. Okay, Dorothy, let's spend time. What are we gonna do? You climbed a tree with your cat. Great. <laughs> Sounds like a normal activity. Zelda, why are we not friend- why are we not- Here, I'll give you money. Do you want money? Have 
<laughs> when your sister hates you, so you just throw money at her. <laughs> Let's spend some time. Uh, we antiqued. Nice. That's cute. Um, alright. Let's just live our life for a little bit. While at a pool party, your friends order a round of bourbon. Let's go. Let's drink. Your enemy Brock passed away. He died after suffering a stroke. That's what happens, man. <gasps> Vanilla died! She died after ingesting some antifreeze? My bad dog, Mom. You receive a voucher for a free pair of sunglasses at a fashionable eyewear store. Been feeling pretty insecure about your puffy eyes lately. What will you do? Sure. Let's do it. Oh. Your cat Dorothy just sprayed on your bed. What will you do? Train her. We're gonna train her not to do that ever the fuck again. Your little sister Zelda passed away! I'm old as hell. And I'm alive still. How even- how old are we? We're 91. 91 years old. We should probably get our health up and our happiness. Let's go on a vacation. Vacation. Let's go on a cruise. Let's go the Nile River cruise in a suite. Do it. While in port on your Nile River cruise, you have multiple transportation options. Which will you choose? Let's take a bike. Alright, let's check on our Antimils, who hate us, apparently. She does not- <gasps> cat! Oh, she bit my eyelid! Probably because I tried to give her a fucking bath. Jeez, here's a- just spend time with you. Fuck. <laughs> you got another fucking treat? God. Here's a bath. Um, and some treats. Oh, they don't really like treats? That's weird. Spend time. Went to the pet store to get grooming supplies. Sweet. Alright, well, we don't have any siblings left alive. We have a t a quite a few nieces and nephews. Um, we're retired, so we don't have anything to do there. Um, what was oh, I think it's down here. We can set our will. But we don't have any kids, so it's all gonna go to charity, I guess. Alright, you've been sneezing all day. Additionally, your sinuses have been extremely congested lately. What will you do? Let's go to the doctor. Hi hay fever. We have hay fever. Great. We continue to suffer from hay fever. You just came home and discovered that your cat, Dorothy, has escaped. Look for her everywhere. You find your cat, Dorothy, walking down the street. Singing doop up doop 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 Okay. Let's go. <gasps> we died! You died of complications from old age, you were 93. We had a decent net worth. Honestly. We had a decent net worth. Karen passed away at the age of 93. Her nieces and nephews couldn't be bothered to attend her funeral. That's shitty. That's shitty. Well, that's bit life. If you guys liked that, leave a like down below. Maybe in the comments let me know what you think about it. And maybe uh, we'll play some more of that. I like this game. I, I've... i It's a little silly little game. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye!